purple lights. Hello everyone, welcome to our reading. So this time I want to draw cards again. So let's see what we're doing for our 20 minutes reading. All right, let's see what this is. BTS cards, okay. So I'm getting my BTS cards and we're doing, yeah. Let's see what kind of reading we're doing. Mm. <laughs> Let me ask with Carol, like what kind of reading we're doing. Okay. So let's see <laughs> what this reading is all about. Okay, Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, Spiritual Love, and um, Withstanding. So, hmm, um, yeah, let me, let me try to guess of something, um, I feel here I want to do a self-love reading. This is all about, you know, the Ace of Cups, that's about your your self-love. And um, how can you love yourself more? Or how can you improve on your soul journey? Let's do this. How can you improve on your soul journey? Um, especially when you go through hard times right now in your soul journey. Okay, and that's what we're doing. So I'm getting the cards and... Just wait a second. So guys, how can you improve on your soul journey? We're going to take one of those cards. And then we're going to see what else the tarot is saying. How can you improve? Taking this one. So let's see what it says. It's okay. It's German. I'm going to translate it. It says, um, I want to read it in German. It says, um, der Unterschied zwischen Drittsteine und richtigen Hürden ist die Nutzung. Schwere Zeiten verbleiben nie lange, aber kräftige Leute schon. Sammle deine Kräfte also, glaub an dich selbst und du wirst unaufhaltbar sein. So, isn't it euphoria? So, this is about, you know, it means that good times are always coming back. Even if you have bad times, they're not here to stay. And the difference between um, how you move forward in the right direction is, um, you know, how you use the bridges. Um, you know, it says something about the stones, how you jump the stones into the right direction. It's not um, like it's not that the right stones are there, but it's how you use the stones that are there. So basically it means um, how you use your resources, how you use the things that are there. It's not about what you don't have. It's about that you use what you have with the right amount and in the right direction, you know, in, in order to push yourself forward into this um, or in this spiritual journey. Yeah, and it means um, collect your, your strengths, yeah, believe in yourself, and you will be unstoppable. This is basically what the card is. Isn't that beautiful? That's exactly what I was feeling the universe wants you to know. So it's not about that you have the right resources. It's about that you use your resources in the right amount and, and you know, in, in the right way. Because it's always in this journey that, that there are good times and bad times. And it also says, um, the good times are not, uh, the bad times are not lasting there for long. So after the rain, we always know there's a sunshine coming, right? So that's all we're gonna take. Let's see what the universe, what else the universe is saying. Not reading reversals. Yes, we have these seven of swords. So there are things hidden that you don't see in this um, soul journey. You know, especially in uh, moving forward in your spiritual journey. 
in whatever this means for you you know it means that um <clears throat> whatever journey you're on you know we could be on a soulmate journey we could on be on a twin flame journey we could be on um, a spiritual journey in general this could be about your job this could be about anything in 3d you know th those are different things for each and every one of you but in the spiritual journey there are always things that we're not seeing or we're not aware of and um <clears throat> this is the page of swords and instead of you know losing your ability to speak up or you know it says um being caught in a lie um this is the page of swords um, you know this is the energy of hmm you know if there's always a fold in this journey if there's always something going wrong i'm not doing it any you know i'm not doing it at all i just resign you know this is the energy of giving up you know not speaking up not saying what i want um <clears throat> you know just keeping quiet in order to have um, a more comfortable journey basically yeah then we also have a time where we just have to wait you know and there is no success coming coming this is the six of wands reversed a lot of times especially in spiritual journey especially when you're waiting on your dream job or you have to study for a long time in order to reach that destination there are a lot of times where we just sit, sit around and have to wait you know there we have to be patient a lot of times in this journey especially for soulmate journey and twin flame journey yeah? there is a lot of waiting around a lot of times where we cannot we have no communication we can only check out you know each other in this journey but we cannot really talk to each other there is no communication and you know we don't see the things that are n would be necessary to see in order to be successful yeah and a lot of times you know we're just giving up and we're just not seeing um that we're actually fine yeah we're just thinking oh i need to be saved um you know, especially in, in soulmate journeys, especially in karmic journeys, especially in journeys with another counterpart, you know, a lot of times we just want to have um, like a comfortable journey. We don't like all these waiting around and not speaking up, having no communication, you know, a lot of times. Um, and you can apply this, you know, to anything what you're looking for, whatever you try to reach. There are things that we don't see. There are things when you have to adapt. You cannot just, you know, sometimes say things. We have to wait around a lot. And we're lost a lot. Yeah, and we don't feel comfortable in our own skin. The Nine of Pentacles is reversed. Um, this means that a lot of times in this journey, we're feeling unsure of ourselves you know we we're feeling why am i waiting around here why is that not coming what i want why is my favorite person not communicating with me why are they always running away why do i have to wait and go to college for seven years in order to um, get my dream job you know you could apply this to anything we're lost a lot of times in those spiritual journey but at the end of it all, and I think it's beautiful that, you know, I didn't know what was under the cards, that at the end, yeah, the card, that just, um, it's perfect. It's like all these cards are reversals. Almost all these cards have, um, you know, a negative touch. So something like what we're thinking. And then at the end, we have this beautiful justice card. So that means no matter what's going on, let's put this at the end. And you see how the colors change. You see that? The more you trust the universe, the more you let the universe in, which speaks of this purplish, bluish color. It's the crown chakra. It's the the um, letting go and giving over to the universe. You know, accepting every step of the journey, trying to make usage of what you're having, trying to, you know, not wishing for things that aren't there, but just, um, you know, try to do your best on each step in the journey and basically that's the saying it's you know the goal is not the goal the goal is the journey and this is what we see here and the more you let the universe in the more justice will be served and the more you feel that justice is served i think that's 
very very important here to say yeah so what i'm getting now um 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 How you gain this confidence? I mean, w when we need to ask now, how do we gain this confidence in order to, um, you know, to let the universe in and to really trust whatever journey you are on? Well, let me get the other deck. Let me get the other deck. Whatever journey you are on, how can we reach this confidence of letting the universe in? How can we trust the steps in our journey okay we have the queen of cups energy and this card just turned around this is about look at this card how beautiful yeah this is about a constant um connection to the universe this is really about trusting and especially of um you know even if your emotions are overflowing we see how the water is like you know till her waist um she's still trusting yeah she's still trusting the universe it's all about um feeling it's all about trust and belief yeah the queen of cups also speaks about communicating with the universe believing in yourself as well yeah believing in your own psychic abilities believing in yourself that's very important here what else universe how can we learn this trust so that justice is served how can we learn on trust in this journey? Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is letting go of doing everything on your own. You know, the Ten of Wands card, um, we see here she's moving her stuff. Um, you know, this is like she she actually finds help. She actually um, gives up stuff and doesn't carry everything on her own. You know, like mm, loosening the weight basically yeah this means if you are on the spiritual journey give a lot of things over to the universe don't try to do everything on your own give it also up to spirit or to your belief system try to reach out to whatever you believe in this helps a lot to lighten the load yes the hierophant look at this that's about really believing in the universe that's like you see how happy he is just because i mean he's sitting at the bottom of the stairs and there is his destination and a lot of times we're just sitting around and have to wait till another um portal opens and you know we can move on in our journey so being happy here being happy with the rules of the universe the hierophant is all about there are rules there are things also in the universe we cannot just like you know like um wrap the magic lamp and then our um twin flame appears in our room and says yep here i am let's go let's have a relationship in 3d yo that would be nice wouldn't it <laughs> that's not reality it's about being happy within the journey it's about being happy with spirit that's very important here whatever your belief system is even if you don't believe in anything even if you're not believing in the universe and you believe in yourself only then never stop doing this this is about also being happy in the moment, mm, you know, looking, look for help if you, if you need to improve yourself, you know, sometimes we can share things, but mostly you see how there's, there's always one person here. It's about being confident in your own. It's about, you know, this is about our own spiritual journey. Sometimes we don't need other people. Yeah, we can share and it's nice and everything. But the most important thing is that you're satisfied and content and happy within yourself, guys. And this is what you see here. The Queen of Cups, it's about your own inner emotions being balanced out, even if sometimes it's um, too much. Yeah, this is a very nice reading here. And then we have the wheel. And the wheel is also about um, the times, you know, never um, are the same. There is a lot of change happening in the world. There is a lot of change happening in, in soul journeys on your path. And we see that sometimes we're lucky. You know, she's she's having the dice here. Sometimes we're lucky and sometimes we don't. You know, sometimes we're up on the wheel. Sometimes we're down. It's about accepting that. It's about being okay with wherever you are on the wheel. 
And this is what most people um, are not doing. They're not accepting. They always want to run against the walls and try to change their situation, you know. The real point in a soul journey is to accept where you are and try to make the best of it. Because sometimes we're just sitting at the bottom of the stairs and we can, you know, I mean, we could try, like, take big jumps to the portal, but maybe we would fall down and would fall even deeper. Yeah. So sometimes it's better to wait, to just relax and be okay with where you are. Sometimes you have to accept that you're not, not up the portal like other people. You know, sometimes we have to accept that um, we are not that lucky like others are, you know, or sometimes we have to accept that we cannot reach the heights that others are having. Still, our spiritual journey is important and still our life is important and still our happiness is important. It's, it's about having, you know, yourself together. It's, and you see, again, we have just one person. It's about you being content with yourself. You knowing you do enough. You thinking enough of yourself. Not always make you race to reach another and another and another mile. Yeah, of course, I don't mean that you should not push yourself to reach your highest um, limits. But when there's enough, there's enough and you must be okay with yourself. And it's important to be happy with yourself. Yes, and the King of Wands. This is about um, actively yeah, pursuing the things you want. The King of Wands, that's why the Leo is here, is actively pursuing the things he wants. The Queen of Cups. This is the energy of trusting yourself, trusting your guts. So these two energies combined, this is the perfect um, thing in soul journeys, right? Like trusting yourself, being okay when you have to wait and when there's nothing going on, but at the same time, striving to be your best version and trying to make the best of each situation. And that's how you can move forward in your spiritual journey. And trust me, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, this is the spirit changing things up. Sometimes you can just dance on the wheel. Sometimes we don't know if we are down or up on the wheel. We cannot just do anything. You know, we are not the wheel. We are dancing on the wheel, but we are not this wheel. This wheel is turning on its own. And that's the universe or whatever you call it. Whatever belief you have, you know, that's life. It's ever changing. And the best thing you can do, in, especially in your spiritual journey, is to adapt to situations, try to make the best of it, and you will move forward. Yeah. And sometimes we cannot do other things than waiting. So last cards. I want to get those cards. So let's see what is important for you to know on your spiritual journey. I think that's very beautiful reading. What do you think of it? What else you can tell? The sun. Um, rise to the occasion. Yeah? This is the card of um, being happy. Yeah, The sun is all about being happy, being content. That's what I said. It's this Leo energy. Yeah, Masculine energy. Um, feeling happy in the moment. And then we have faces shine even when you're not whole. And see, this is what we, t we, we just said. There are faces, there are um, different cycles in life, there are different cycles in a journey, especially in the twin flame journey. You know, we must say we have to wait a lot because, you know, we cannot mm, interfere with how the universe communicates with us or the divine counterpart you know we just sometimes we just have to wait for that other person to catch up to us or that we catch up with the other person you know this those are faces what else can you say universe morning star keep shining even when others have quit isn't it crazy that's exactly what we said always try to take a new morning you know every every time like waking up in the morning and saying, okay, this is the next day I have on my journey. Let's see what this day brings, you know. This is all about um, cherishing each moment in this journey, cherishing each day. What else is important on spiritual journeys, universe? We have limitless. Know your worth. 
Yeah, but don't run against walls if they're not opening for you. Accept every step on the journey. Know that we are limitless. You are limitless. I am limitless. We are all limitless, you know. But there are things in life where, you know, we are limitless mostly in 5D, but in 3D there are limitations. Yeah, there are limitations, but this is about a mindset. It's about what you believe. Do you give up and think you never will reach this portal or do you just stay here and be happy and wait till the next movement comes so you can move up to the portal? You know, it's your decision. It's always our decision how we see the things. And this means in your mind you need to be limitless. You, you need to know that you can reach every destination. How, how crazy it may seem, you can reach it. If it's destined for you, you can reach it. Yeah? This is very beautiful. We have navigation or navigate. Beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you. This is really, this is this point, what I said before, of trusting in the universe. Trust that you are navigated. Trust that um, there is every step in the, along this journey. On whatever path you are on, everything is navigated. Link your own constellation and take control. Control is another important thing I feel here. Um, this is like take control of what you want. Yeah, Try to reach the things that you can reach in each moment um, according to your limitations and try to improve yourself, you know, try to move forward with this action that the uh, masculine energy holds with a passion and a fire, but also know when you need to let go of control. This is this card. Also know when you have to embody the feminine energy and you are accepting your situation at the moment. This is the feminine energy and this is the masculine energy. The best way to possibly reach your dreams is to keep both of them in balance, striving and accepting. Yeah, And this is what this beautiful reading is about. I really love it. So that's all what I have for you guys. I hope you really like it. Let's finish off this reading with another quote, like this quote, Euphoria quote. We're finishing with uh, another quote. Let's see what quote is coming through. And I want to take this one. And <laughs> why is it all German? <laughs> I like that's army, right? <laughs> be strong. Yeah, it means be strong. Wow, look at this. It says one person with passion is better than 40 persons who only show some interest. <laughs> it's that right. <laughs> so we're finishing here with Joni and I hope you really like this reading and I hope you give it a thumbs up and you tune in tomorrow again for the next energies. And take care, purple lights. I love you. Bye.